welcome back to Pop Art Sculpture Part 2. Looking at our donut. Last week we created a newspaper and masking tape sculpture. Our donut. Then we covered it with bandaged plaster. And hopefully it's dry, which means that now we need to cover our bandage with some white paint. Usually I'd use a gesso or a primer, but this will work. And this came with your watercolor paints. We need a white base so that the colors we put on top will stand out. Now remember, pop art is about being bright and colorful, and there's a bit of humor in there. You will put this aside to dry once you've covered your white paint, and then you're going to design in your art journals donuts. I would like you to design three and then you're going to choose the one that you think works well. The one where the colors work well together. Now with your donuts you might choose to put hundreds and thousands on top like I did here but you're going to need Posca markers so that we can save for school and also we're going to varnish it that we will also do at school. But once we've come up we've finished our design we're going to start painting. Let's take a look. Draw your donut outline with pencil. An oval shape with a hole in the middle of it and icing cascading down the sides. I'm mixing my warm colours here to create a sense of 3D or depth. Remember to wash your brush between each colour and that way you'll retain your paints and keep them nice and clean. Once the painting's dry, you can add sprinkles with your markers. Finish it off by outlining the outside with a black fine liner or a black marker. Be creative and come up with different designs for each one of your three pictures. Once you're happy with your final design, you can start drawing the icing with pencil on your donut sculpture. As you did in your sketchbook, I would use a variety of colours and tones to create a more three-dimensional effect. Start with the top, let it dry before attempting to paint the bottom of the donut. I've used the top of my art journal here, but please consider covering your workspace with newspaper or plastic to protect your table. When your donut is dry, you can add your markers or Posca marker details such as the sprinkles here. If you don't have any, just save it and bring it to school and we can finish it off there when we varnish them. The key to this is to give yourself design options and you do this by investigating and exploring in your art journal. Give yourself three options, use different colours, different colour combinations, think about a donut that you really enjoy we can finish it off at school. Look forward to seeing them.